Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Yahweh Hakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. This is Revelation 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, which to them that it's talking about here is the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Okay, the spirit of life is talking about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay, which, you know, was removed from us for, you know, around three days and a half, which is a period of 350 years. All right, it says after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Okay, and the them that it's talking about here is talking about the elites. All right, the rulers of these other nations. Okay, and the reason why great fear has fallen upon them is because they know what comes next, man. All right, they know the prophecies. They know what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has spake concerning the nation of Israel. You have a major destruction take place down here upon the earth. The nation of Israel is going to be delivered. And then after that deliverance takes place after a set period of time, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to release the gods back down here on the earth. And it ain't going to be pretty for you other nations, man. It says, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in the cloud, which that's going into the deliverance. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be delivered from the major destruction that's going to take place down here on the earth. Okay, and they're going to be the only ones that's going to be delivered. All right. It says, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Who are our enemies? These other nations, and two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, it says, in the same hour, there was a great earthquake, which is going into the nuclear destruction. And the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the power of heaven. Those missiles are going to cause a global earthquake. And the elect are going to escape these things by being delivered in those chariots. Because that's the only way you're going to escape this destruction. Okay, you have to get taken up in those chariots. But something else is going to happen. After they get delivered, they're not going to stay up there forever. Like they teach you in these Christian churches. Oh, you know, you're going to live in heaven forever with the Most High and His Son. Which that is true. However, heaven is going to be down here on the earth. Heaven represents rulership, and the nation of Israel is going to rule down here on the earth. Okay, and it ain't going to be pretty for you other nations. This is Revelation 21 and 1. It says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, which is going into this current rulership that's set up. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to completely do away with it, along with you other nations that's ruling. It says, For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And the reason why John see New Jerusalem, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, is because they gonna get delivered, just like we read in Revelation, the 11th chapter. All right, and this is going into the elect of the nation of Israel, the 144,000, the one third, okay, the governing body of the nation of Israel. Which the reason why they're going to come back down is to subjugate the earth under the authority of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. It's 2 Ezra 2 and 40. It says, Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white. Okay, those same white garments that we read about in Revelation, the 21st chapter. The number is talking about the 144,000. The one third is included in that. The main number is 144,000 though. Okay, it's like you read in Revelation the seventh chapter. It says, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. And the reason why this number is being longed for is because this is the governing body of the nation of Israel, the governing body of the kingdom of heaven, okay? Which the kingdom of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to be established down here upon the earth. 
That's when all these curses that's upon us is gonna cease to exist when these individuals are set up in the rulership seat, man. Okay? That's when these bodies are gonna be changed. It says the number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. But seeks the power of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed, and they are being hollowed. The 144,000 are being sealed as we speak. Okay? And we're very close to that number being completely fulfilled, man. You can see what's going on on the world stage. It says, I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, which is 144,000 and one third. Okay, you can read about that great multitude in Revelation, the seventh chapter, the ninth verse. So Ezra seen the same thing. It says, whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he said, crowns, and these crowns is twofold. It's an actual crown. Okay, so the elect are going to receive crowns at the hands of Yahweh Shai. All right, but crowns also represents rulership authority, which that is what's gonna be given to the nation of Israel. All right, the ones that get delivered, mainly the 144,000, they're gonna be given rulership and authority down here upon the earth. It says, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing, and put on the immortal, which is twofold as well. The mortal clothing, in a spiritual sense, is talking about putting off this world, okay? And putting on the immortal clothing is talking about putting on the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But this is gonna come to pass on a physical level, okay? Because when the nation of Israel, the elect, gets delivered in those chariots, their bodies are gonna be changed, okay? They're gonna become gods down here on the earth, all right? We're going to be restored to that Alahayim status that we had back in the ancient time, man. When Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai first created this earth. Okay, well, real quick, I just want to look that word up. You know, I was looking it up earlier. And this is what we're going to be down here on the earth, okay? After the Heavenly Father delivers the elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to go up. Like it says in the book of Corinthians, in these terrestrial bodies and they're gonna come back down with those extraterrestrial bodies gods okay gods will descend down here upon the earth and what they're gonna do they're gonna put you other nations in subjection all right this is the word Allah high which is strong's h430 it says rulers judges divine ones okay and that's what we're gonna be down here on the earth we're gonna be divine ones we're gonna have godlike power down here on the earth and we're gonna subjugate you people man it says angels gods god god like one okay so we're gonna be god like down here on the earth when yahweh shim yahweh shai releases the elect of the nation of israel out of those chariots they're gonna have god like status man they're gonna have god like power all right and what's gonna be the job of the Israelites after they get released. They're gonna go throughout the four corners of the earth and conquer all you nations, okay? With that God-like power. So going back to 2 Ezra 2 and 44, it says, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the most high now are they crowned and received palms so you're gonna actually have a physical crown from the hands of Yahweh Shai himself it says then said i unto the angel what young person is it that crowned them and giveth them palms in their hands so he answered and said unto me it is the son of the most high whom they have confessed in the world then began i greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? okay so the elect they're gonna get delivered all right, they're gonna receive those crowns from Yahweh Shai. They're gonna come back down here on the earth and then they're gonna put you people in subjection. And again, it ain't gonna be pretty for you other nations, man. All right, you think we just gonna have the power and we just gonna come and tell you, look, hey, you know, you gotta bow down and we in rulership now. No, these other nations, they gonna buck up, man. And we gonna be able to use that power completely to subjugate them, man. This is back in Revelation 21. And two, it says, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, 
coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men. So the place where Yahweh Yahweh is going to dwell is going to be amongst men. Okay, the men of the nation of Israel. All right, it says that he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. And the most high himself shall be with them and be their power. And if you got the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh resting inside of you, what kind of power do you think you're going to have, man? These bodies are going to be put off. All right, we're going to go up in these fleshly bodies okay and we're going to descend back down on the earth as gods with power that you people ain't never seen or experienced before and what are we going to do with that power let's read it this is psalms 149 and 5. it says let the saints be joyful in glory okay the glory is talking about the kingdom of heaven let them sing aloud upon their beds so we're going to be singing we're going to be joyful all right, it says, let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen. So that's what's going to happen. You heathen, vengeance is going to be taken upon you, man. We're going to use that power to the fullest extent, okay? There ain't going to be no boundaries upon what a God like Israelite is going to be able to do to you to put you in subjection, man, okay? Everything is on the table. It says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains. So when the gods descend down here on the earth, okay, they're going to go throughout the four corners of the earth and they're going to put you people in chains, man. You're going to get chained up and you're going to get shackled. All right. It says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints Praise you the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's going to be a great honor to go throughout the four corners of the earth and subjugate these other nations in the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, with that God-like power. All right, and any nation that resists, <laughs> we're we going to have full authority to use whatever force is necessary to bring you in subjection. Okay. This is Ecclesiasticus 4, and it started at 11. It says, Wisdom exalted her children, and lay hold of them that seek her. He that loveth her loveth life, and they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. That joy is gonna come from being in the kingdom, being a part of the elect. It says, he that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory, and wheresoever she entereth, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One, and them that love her, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh doth love. Whoso give ear unto her shall judge the nations. Now, to judge, you got to have authority over somebody. So how are we going to gain authority over these other nations? We just read it in Psalms 149, 5 through 9. Okay? We're going to go throughout the four corners of the earth, and we're going to put chains and shackles on you people, man. All right? We're going to forcibly put you under the authority of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. Okay, so that's what's gonna happen. The nation of Israel, they're gonna be delivered, they're gonna go up, okay? Their bodies are gonna be changed. They're gonna descend back down here on the earth as gods, and they're gonna put your people in subjection, man. All right? You're gonna have a lot of death taking place when that happens, okay? A lot of you people ain't gonna make it. Okay, because order has to be established. The order of the nation of Israel. Fear has to be instilled in you people. And the only way to instill fear in these people is to exert all the power that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has given us. You know, just want to go into that. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.
Anymore, I want them to turn black. 